Hey there boys and girls and welcome to Faith Flight School. I'm Captain Tyler. Here at Faith Flight School we learn about the Word of God and how we can be doers of it. As we're doers of God's Word and what He shows us to do, we will receive all the benefits and all the blessings that God has for us. Well today here at Faith Flight School we're gonna see Meemaw's holiday party. She's been preparing for a couple weeks here. So and today's the day, are you ready? We're gonna continue to learn about the true meaning of Christmas after we go to the hangar with praise and worship. He is a 
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh. Hello, Mima Piranha. Yes, yes, I'm getting ready for the party right now. Oh, oh, I see, yes. Yes, we do have a time travel machine. Yes. A shepherd, eh? Oh, huh. yes, 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 uh, yes, I believe something can be done. It's uh, a little short notice before the party, but uh, anything for you, Mima. Yes. Yes, yes, understood. Lovely, save me some Christmas cookies. All right, I'll see you later. <sighs> well. Back to science. Where did I put the button? Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Cammy. Oh. Hey, Jimmy, what are you up to? Oh, I'm not up to much. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a big old present. Yeah. Jimmy like present. Who's it for? Well, I, I'm just... Is thinking... it for Jimmy? Well, I'm just... Oh, thinking... <laughs> Jimmy like present. Wait, if it's not for me, that's okay. But is it for me? Well, actually, it's for me, Ma. For me, Ma. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet, me, Ma. She's she's such a nice lady. She's such she does such nice things for all of us. She's throwing us this parties, all the food and decorations. All it, it's a I beautiful know. thing. And she's just so sweet to us. It just mm. makes me cry happy tears. Mm. She's just so nice, and she's done so much for me. And I just love me, Ma, so much. And I just had to get her a gift. <laughs> well, that's great, Cammy. That's a beautiful thing. You get yeah. you. Mima loved you. She did nice things for you. You want to do something back. You know, it's just yeah, how exactly. it's just how it is when you think about what the Lord's done for you, isn't it? <gasps> how all the good things he's done for you from the beginning of your life and <laughs> going forward into the future. <laughs> God has done so many great things for us and it just makes you want to give back, don't it? That's right. Okay, I need to get God a Christmas gift now. Hmm, I wonder what he likes. Um, what's his favorite color? Do you know what size socks God wears? Oh, Cammy, Cammy, Cammy. I'm not talking about that kind of present. Not that kind of giving back. Come on. Uh, oh, 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 you mean like, like giving our offerings? Well, that's one way. For uh, sure. That's a good way. That's a great way. You know, sometimes <laughs> people don't want to give an offerings. You know? They don't? They don't. They don't want to give an offerings. Why not? They go about, well, because, you know, it costs a little money, and then you're not going to get it back. Well, they don't think they're going to give it back. But, but... We're supposed to give offerings to God, right? Well, it's not just that we're supposed to, Cammy. We get to. You know what the Bible says? Um, the Bible says the Bible in 1 John 4, 19, that we love him because he first loved us. Cammy, God's been loving us since before we were even around. Since before the world was even around, the Bible says. He's the original. He's the best at it. He invented it. He perfected it. And he's still loving us today. And when you think about all the things that he's done for us, doesn't that just make you want to love him back? Oh, it sure does. Just like all those things God's done for us makes us love him and want to give back to him. That's, that's like Mima. She's done so many wonderful things for us, too. And we love to give to Mima. Exactly. That's so cool. We love to give to God because we want to bless it, not just because we want to get things back. And we do. When you give, it comes back good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. But there's more to it because you can give God a blessing. You can give him a gift just like a, just like a Christmas present. He opens it up and he's like, mm -mm, that is a good gift right there if you do it with the right heart. Oh, well, I want to do that with the right heart for sure. Well, Cammie, I think you do have that right heart. <laughs> it's the same kind of heart that you have when you give that gift to me. Uh, well, thank you so much, Jimmy. I'm going to finish wrapping this, and then we can go look at the other gifts under the tree. Oh, right. I saw a bunch under there. Okay. Some are for Jimmy. <laughs> Boys and girls, you're here! I'm so glad that you've come. It's the day of the big Christmas party. But of course you knew that because you're at my house. But it's not just a Christmas party. It's a birthday party for Jesus. We're celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, 
Jesus Christ. I'm so glad that you've come. Oh, there's so many of you I see. I see Crystal and Joel and Grace and hello Tim and Olivia and Aubrey and Will. Oh, and there's Danny. Oh, you make Mima's heart so happy that you've come. Friends and family from all over are journeying to get to my house just for this party. How far did you travel to get here? Oh, that's a very long way, but I'm so glad that you've come. Everything has turned out even more wonderful than I could have hoped. The Lord helped us get everything ready. We cleaned and decorated and prepared and made sure everything was special just for you. Because I love you and we love you and Jesus loves you. Now come on inside, I've got cookies and even a cake for you boys and girls. I can't wait to show you everything. Do you want to help me put these gifts under the tree? Oh, thank you. Follow me this way, boys and girls. Wow! Did you see all the gifts Mima had? She had a big one and a little one. She is such a giver. In fact, Mima even gave me a gift. Wow! Look at that! And this, this gift, do you know what it is? It's a mirror! And it's super special to me because when Mima gave it to me, she said, now you listen here. Every single time you look into that mirror, you tell yourself, God loves me. Because he does. So that's what I'm going to do. God loves me. Mm. Doesn't that make you just feel all warm and fuzzy inside? Oh, you want to know how I know God loves me? Well, let me tell you. In John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You see, God so loved the world, well, that's us, we live in the world, that he gave, he gave the biggest gift you could ever give, the most precious gift there ever is. He gave Jesus to save us. Whew. That sure does make me feel loved. So, God gave his only begotten son, and then, it says that if we believe in him and when we receive him as our savior, then we get filled with that same love. Oh, and it becomes so real to us. And then it's warm and fuzzy all the time and we feel that love all the time. It makes us want to share it with others and show them that God loves them too. Because he does, he does love them. So this Christmas season, as we're giving gifts just like God gave, we should remember in our hearts that that love that fills us up, that's from God when he gave his son, and it just is so, so much love in us that we just wanna like outpour love to others. That's exactly what we should do as we give gifts. We should remember that greatest gift. We should remember Jesus. And then when we have our gifts, just like this one. <laughs> well, actually, this, this really has to do more with a mirror. I'm just so excited about it. But you can take your mirrors, like when you're getting ready in the morning, and, and you go into the mirror to fix your hair, you know, you gotta brush it out, make sure it looks all nice. You can look into that mirror and you can say, God loves me so very, very much. Mm. It makes me feel so warm and cozy inside. <gasps> And I know something else that'll make me feel warm and cozy <laughs> in my mouth. It's hot chocolate. Oh, okay, I gotta go get some. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> boys and girls. I am so glad to see you here at this Christmas party we're having. <laughs> Christmas is the most wonderfulest, most bestest time of the year. <laughs> That's why Jimmy wore his good necktie. <laughs> you don't have to say it. I know I look good. <laughs> and you look good too. But 
Just because it's Christmas, just because we're at a Christmas party, that doesn't mean we're going to skip our confessions, does it? No, uh, we want to confess the word of God over our lives every day of the year. <laughs> Ain't that right? All right. So if we got these confessions we're going to say. I know you know them. You can say them after me. You can say them with me. You can say them, uh, um, you can say them after I'm gone. <laughs> All right. So the first one goes like this. Say it after me. Say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Oh, <laughs> that is right, boys and girls. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. You are as righteous and as clean and as pure as Jesus is because of what his blood has done for you. Can I get an amen? <laughs> All righty. Up next, now we know we like this one. It's got them hand motions. Get those jazz hands ready. <laughs> All righty. So first, now I know you know this one real well. You can say it with me. Say, I'm quick. I'm sharp. I'm bright. Oh, you know I'm good looking. Very rich and a major blessing. <laughs> That's why we're really rich, ain't it, boys and girls? So we can be a major blessing. We can spread the love of God through the way that he does by sending blessings. Ain't that right? <laughs> now, here's a real good one. Get your jazz hands warmed up again. All righty. Now, we're not just heroes of the word of God, are we, boys and girls? We don't just sit in class. We don't just sit in church and go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, that's real good, mm-hmm, amen. No, we go home, we take the word of God, we apply it, we do it. We do the word of God in our lives, and that's where we see the results. Say that right? So, say it with me. Say, I'm a doer. I'm a doer. I am a doer of the word of God. Oh, yes, you are. And you know what? Speaking of the word of God, you got your Bible with you? If you don't have it, you better find it. It's time to do the confession about the Word of God. The Word of God is the beginning and the end of everything that is important on our lives. You better have your Bible, all righty? Now, you hold that up with me, all right? And you say, this is my Bible. It is the Word of God. I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. And I can be what God says I can be. And you know what he says you can be, boys and girls? <laughs> he says you can be a doer. He says you can be the righteousness of God in Christ. He says you can be quick, sharp, bright, very rich, and a major blessing. And he says huh, that you can enjoy this Christmas party today. <laughs> Thanks for your time, boys and girls. Oh, hey, Faith Life Kids. Are you enjoying Mima's party? Me too. So much fun. We're here with friends, had great food. Yeah, it's been great. You know, I really like sheep. Sheep have been a pretty big thing for me. And I was thinking, can you imagine what it would have been like to be one of the shepherds in Bethlehem that night that Jesus was born out in the fields, looking at the starry night? It was pretty amazing. Wow, hi. Um, so, wait, wait, are you one of these shepherds? Well, I surely am. Well, but how is that possible? Well, you know, um, I've actually been asking myself that question since I got here. Uh, there was something about a Dr. No and a fast something. Okay, awesome. Okay. so the information team, station team brought you. Yeah, uh, I believe something like that was mentioned. Oh, that well, okay. Well, regardless of how you got here, I'm so glad to meet you. I'm so glad that you're here. Hey, do you think you could tell us, the boys and girls and I, the story? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's one of my favorite stories, and I will never, ever tire of telling it. Oh, I, boys and girls, settle in. Let's listen. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Well, pardon, it's a cold night tonight. It looks like all the other sheep have gone off to sleep. Well, you always got to be the last one, don't you, pardon? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I like these first watches. The sky is clear. The stars are bright. Well, that one's really bright. What? Ah! 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 Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Did you see that, pardon? Did you see that? Oh, that was the most amazing moment of my life. Hey, Abner! Abner! Did you see that, Abner? It was like 
Nothing I've ever seen! My knees are still shaking! We've gotta go see this child, Abner! Wake the others! Oh, that won't be necessary! They're all awakening in a daze! Let's go! Yeah! Well, it was startling to say the least, but by far the best news we had ever, ever heard. You know, and we were so surprised and amazed that God had sent his heavenly messengers out to us. Simple shepherds. We weren't special, man. We were just out there looking at our sheep. That is so amazing. So did you find him? Did you find baby Jesus? Oh yeah, we found him just like the angel said we would. We found him wrapped in a swaddling cloth, lying in a manger. Wow, you actually got to see baby Jesus. Did you keep it a secret? What? Of course not. We went out and told everybody that would listen. You see, that message was not just for us, all right? It was for everybody of all time. I wish I could have been there. It must have been so great to actually see baby Jesus in the manger. Oh yeah, it was an honor. But my friend, you have not missed out. There are still so many people out there who have not heard that Jesus is out there saving them from their sins. You're absolutely right. You know, boys and girls, it is our job to keep sharing the story just like our friend the shepherd did when they, he and his friends ran out and told all of Bethlehem that Jesus was born. It's still our job to tell all the people that are in our lives and are our neighbors and friends that Jesus came and the price that he paid for us. <sighs> Thanks so much for coming. Hey, have you had to try one of Miss Mima's cookies? I haven't had a cookie in 2,000 years. Oh, well, you gotta try one of these. Oh, they look delicious. Give me an E! Give me an S! Give me a U! Hey, Miss Heather! Oh, hey, Miss Anna! <laughs> what you doing? I am spreading the good news of Jesus! I am oh. so excited! You know, in that story with the shepherds, uh -huh. no one had to tell them to go spread the good news about Jesus. That's they true. were so excited, yeah. they just did it on their own. Yeah. Unashamed. That's and that's true. how I want to be. I, w I don't want to be ashamed. Uh -uh. I want to be so excited that I tell all of my friends and maybe even my neighbors. Oh, that's yeah. a great idea. Oh, you know, that good news is just that. It's good. Yeah. The good thing that God did. God, he loved us so much. I mean, so, so much. much. That he mm. sent his yes. only begotten son for us. Yes. For our salvation. And... <laughs> If it was just you, or just you, That's or right. just me, That's right. God still would have yes. sent his son for just one of us. That is great oh, news. It's so amazing. It really is. Makes me so excited. Makes me want to tell everybody what God has done for Whoa, us. Miss Hannah, do you want to go with me and help spread well, the good of news to I everyone? Do. Yeah. All right. right, boys and girls, you can do this too. You can tell yes. everyone around you, your friends, your neighbors, yes. your family, That's someone right. walking down the street, what God has yes. done for you. Because God is a good God. He's and so good. Jesus is such a good Jesus. All right, so <laughs> shout it out with me. Give me a day. Yay! Give me an E. e. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Give me you. you. Give me an S. Yes. What is that spell? Jesus. I Ooh. do like marshmallows. Wilbur, did you try this hot cocoa? Mmm, <laughs> that is delicious. That is some of the best hot cocoa I've ever had. I don't know about that, but these are the best marshmallows I think I've ever had. Yeah, they're good too, but Why the you hot try cocoa. One, dude? <gasps> mm, Marcus. Mmm, those are good. We were so busy talking about how good these marshmallows and hot cocoa are mm. that we failed to see this basket of jingle bells right laying in front, in front of, us. of us. Look at this. Ooh, these sure are a fun treat around Christmas time, I tell you what. Yeah, Jingle Bells, they always remind me of Christmas time. Me there's too. always Jingle Bells. They make me Christmas happy. Time. They make me want to dance. Yeah, you could just like, you could just party all only with Jingle Bells. People always tell me not to dance, but I don't listen to them. Well, yeah, it's good to dance. Hey. You ever, you ever wonder... That? You ever wonder how that works? Yeah, I was just gonna ask me. Yeah, it's like you just shake this thing and it makes all that noise. What's making the noise? Hey, wait a minute. Wait, look right there. Right there, see that? When I poke it, it moves. Oh, 
That's like a little. It's got a little ball in there. Like a little sort. marble or something. And every single one has its own marble. Is that what's making all the noise? I think so. It that seems as though marble? when the ball hits the sides, it makes that jingle sound. Yeah, the little marble is inside this thing. Uh, Marks, what if these didn't noise. have the balls in them? Well, I, I'd imagine they would just be. Do you think it would nothing. sound like this? Like no sound at all. Like I don't hear anything. Yeah, I think that's what it would be like without these bells. Oh, I was yeah, looking the... for these. Excellent. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Howdy. Howdy. Hey, these things are awesome, aren't they? These are so fun. Listen to that. Something that makes such a fun sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but did you know that if you covered it up like this and then shook it, like it a makes a rabbit? different oh. sound. That is not as nice of a sound. No, it's not a no, very fun sound at all. It's not all. very joyful. Kind of sad. And you know, it, it kind of makes me think of Christmas. Ooh. Right? Like, uh, some people, they get all caught up in uh, getting gifts and going to parties mm -hmm. and, and eating food. And Those are fun things. Sure, like it's food. all fun, but it's it's not really the reason why we do all of it, right? Right, I yeah. mean, it, it takes all the joy out of it. Yeah. And then you're just left with... Uh, this. Dole? Yeah, it's right. kind of not a good noise. Yeah. But you know what makes it go back to being like this? What? Remembering that it's all about Jesus and his birthday Ooh. and spreading that joy to everyone that can hear it. Oh. So it's like when we're doing this, it's the, the joy is being silenced and it wants to get out, so that's why it's still rattling. And mm -hmm. then when you don't dampen it anymore, the spirit of Christmas, which is the Lord, the birth of Jesus Christ, and all the joy that he brings with it gets really loud and makes everyone happy. That is exactly that's right. a great reason to be joyful. That just put a smile on my face. Wouldn't it be great if we could just spread that kind of joy all over? Yeah, how and do we spread we that? Can. One great way that we can do that is by going caroling. And caroling. we were just about yeah. to go. Would you like to come with us? Yeah, I would like, like to go caroling. I brought my guitar. Can I bring it with me? That's oh, perfect. Oh, oh, man. Wilbur and I are great at singing. Sometimes. We are very good. Let's, let me go grab my guitar. Oh, yeah. right, let's go. Should we bring these? <laughs> sure. All right. Oh, yes. I've been looking for these. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, are you enjoying the Christmas party? Oh, yes. Lovely. Mima has the best parties. See, I live next door and she invites me. Oh, lovely, lovely. Uh, I'm Dr. No, by the way. Oh. Uh, that's K-N-O. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Miss Dr. No. It's lovely to meet you, too. Uh, may I ask, uh, what are you doing? Oh, well, see, I have lots of stuffed animals and I'm trying to give each one a different name. Oh, lovely, lovely. How many do you have? Well, I just have a couple here, but I have lots more at home. Oh, oh. And you, uh, you play with them all? Oh, of course. And that's why each one needs to have its own unique name. So when I play with them, I can pretend they have different personalities, and I want their names to be connected with how different and special they are. Hmm. You know, did you know that a lot of parents seek God for what names they should give their children? Really? Yes, it's true. They want to give them names that uh, are meaningful to what they do in life, and in fact, most of the names in the Bible came that way. Hmm. You mean names like Moses or Esther? Yes, names just like that, indeed. In fact, uh, one meaning for the name Moses means deliverer, and one meaning for the name of Esther is star. Wow, those names do fit them well. Hmm. Moses was used by God to deliver God's people from Egyptian bondage. And I learned last week that Esther became a queen after she obeyed God and went before the king to save God's people. Yes, this is true. In fact, did you know that God himself gave Jesus not just one name, but many names? He did? Yes, he did. Hmm. It's actually some of the names that he gives him are listed in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Oh. Let me read it to you. <clears throat> For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Wow, 
I sure like the sound of those names. They're so strong and yet comforting. When you said those names, I felt peace in my heart. Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, to think that Jesus, this little baby, would grow up and become our wonderful friend and counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. It just says so much about Jesus and how much he loves us. Sure does. <laughs> wow, wonderful, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Hmm. What are you thinking about? Well, I think I'm inspired for some names for my animals. Oh. Thanks for telling me about all those names, Dr. No. I am happy to help. Mm. Ooh, cookies. Ooh. Have you tried I any of these yet? I haven't. That one looks good. I'm going to try this one. Let me try. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Oh, and pretty. Door to the world. Hey Faith Life Kids! So, we just finished learning about the birth of Jesus Christ. And that is, He is the best, greatest gift given to us. And, you know, if you want to ask Jesus into your heart, it's the, going to be the best decision you've ever made in your life. So, if you can uh, bow your heads and repeat after me, let's accept Him into our hearts right now. Father God, I believe in You. I believe You sent Your Son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I believe he rose again and he is alive right now. Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and be Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Woo! Yeah! So now you're part of the family. Welcome to the family. You have Jesus living inside your heart. What a fun party. I do want to encourage you before we wrap up here today. Do you remember the mirror that Miss Hannah had? Well, I want to encourage you all throughout this holiday season, and really every day of your life, every time you walk past a mirror, look at yourself and tell yourself, God loves me, and remind yourself not just that he loves you, but of how much he loves you. He gave you the biggest, greatest, most precious gift that he possibly could have. He gave you his own son, Jesus, so that if you would believe that and you would receive that, you could be a part of his family. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Enjoy this holiday season. Thank you for joining us. I'm Captain Tyler. And I'll see you next time.